see more in Take Two. Please, Father, make this fine, you know? Who are we to judge the value of one life over another? I cannot accept this! This cannot be his will! The Fleeting Light of Man started as a short story I had written several years ago. I took the inspiration from the story I'd written, but I started with the storyboards, and I really wanted to boil down the visuals first. Once I was happy with the storyboards, then I wrote the script. Now a key component of making this short film work was getting a location, and we were really lucky and we found the San Pedro Chapel in Tucson. I really wanted to have great costumes and props and all those things, uh, but you know the budget's small. so. For the, all the candles, I, I made all of those by going to Ikea and getting a bunch of really cheap candles from Ikea, and then dyeing them and coating them and coloring them to get these really unique, interesting looking candles that you see in the short. Similarly, for the book, I took a cheap notebook, uh, covered it in leather, and then tried to write in the pages. So I, <laughs> I had to try a couple techniques and uh, not all of them worked very well. But as you can see, I, right before, um, <laughs> literally hours before uh, filming, I was able to get one left and right page finished. And the next big thing for any short film is planning. And so I made some lighting diagrams and I worked through all the different tasks that need to be done. There's so many little things that need to be done on a film set. And I sent those around to my crew and then we loaded up the van with all the rental gear and the little bit of gear I own and we drove down to Tucson. You know, production was great and pre-production was part of why that was so great is uh, we really all kind of knew what was going on. We knew the motivations. We knew what the different setups were. And even though we tried to tackle some really ambitious, um, at least ambitious for me and, and the crew, lighting setups, uh, I think you know because we'd pre-planned it, it all went rather smoothly. But you know, like on any film production, uh, not everything went smoothly and not everything was perfect. And as you can see, that blinking uh, audio recorder there decided to give out on us uh, more than once. and. Uh, kind of ruined some audio, but you gotta roll with the punches and do what you can. And I was able to do some ADR and salvage some audio from some other clips, but you just gotta do what you can do and try and have a plan B. I've heard it said that you make a film three times, once when you write it, once when you film it, and once when you edit it. And after making this film, I, that's so true. This is the biggest and most ambitious project I've, I've ever done. And uh, it's really great to get other collaborators and actors and crew members that were all just as invested in bringing the story to life as I was.